out because we're ready to travel back in time. To the 20s, to the flap of vamp look. It's a fake cigarette, don't worry. I never smoke real cigarettes, just fake ones. <coughs> I'm coughing on my fake smoke. <laughs> cigarettes I smoke are fake ones and ones that you get in gum packs that when you blow them out, it blows out powdered sugar. <sighs> my eye makeup may be dark and sooty, but my lungs sure ain't gonna be. class, it's time once again to go to makeup school. I got my teacher glasses on. Get your notepads and pens out because I'm here to show you how to do a 20s flap of makeup look. Now let's get started. Go to my blog, candyj.com, and you can see where I got all these costume things and other things about 20s flap of looks and makeup. Now on with the video. Are you ready to go? Well, let's go then. So the first thing we're gonna do for this look is you want a very heavy, cakey foundation. Their makeup was a pancake makeup, which is very heavy. So I put a heavy layer of foundation. I put a primer of the Decay Complexion Primer Potion on to make sure my makeup will really stick. Then I put a very heavy coating of mascara. They call it pancake makeup because it was very heavy. It came in a little pan. It was like cake makeup and you'd pack it on. So I put that pretty heavily over for this look and then powdered it. And now we're gonna get ready to do the eyes. So we have the first eye done, which looks very, very smoky here. Under these lights, I think it makes it look extra smoky. But pretty much they use things like soot, lead, goose grease paint. So many black things are probably really dangerous for their eyes. <laughs> um, and coal. I'm going to use, um, this is Smolder from MAC. I love it. It's just a very good black. So I'm going to start by lining the inner rim of the eye. Eye into the lash line and the outer edge of the eye just a little and do the same thing on the top just so we can kind of smudge it around. Now you can take your domed a little smudgy brush or anything like this and kind of soften up that line and bring the black out so that the your eyeshadow will stick to it. It doesn't matter which gray you use, you can use any of these grays for the eyes. These are Makeup Forever and MAC, Carbon, Soot, Print, any of these grays, dark greens, dark blues, these are all colors that they use so any of them will work. I'm going to first start getting kind of my lighterish gray, a medium gray, and I'm going to spread it all over from the outer corner up into the crease. And you can even go up into this area and kind of make like a square shape, kind of like this, and make this very gray. And then go into the corner and you want to sweep this up with a pretty defined area and then blend all of this in. Then take your fluffy brush in a light color and put it up here so you have a little bit of a highlight to work with and then the rest we're going to work with all the different grays. Now I'm going to go back to getting a medium gray and I'm going to go right under here and blend. Just leave that little spot a little light. Or gray green, even a navy blue or a black. And you can go right over the line where you just put that black coal liner and go right underneath the eye all the way up into the corner. This smoky, smudgy look is what was very attractive. I'm going to just go over with some darker color black into the crease and smudge these outer corners. I'm taking my darker gray green and this darker gray and I'm going to go right into the crease and just keep darkening this up. Then you can take a black shadow on your angled brush, pull the lid away down from the eye and press the black into there and really smudge that line down from the inner rim to the outer rim. It'll give it a really smudgy, smoky, messy look. Your eyebrows were like dangerously thin, so I just put a lot of concealer over mine and I'm going to take an angled brush just so it'll lighten them up. And I'm going to take a darkest brown eyeshadow, any dark brown that you have, and I'm going to just go high above the top and I'm going to make it pretty, they just had a flat, pretty flat curve. So I'm going to start at the top of mine and I'm just going to shape them around and bring them over. And then all the way because we just want them to look really thin and really high. They like to higher, very flat, arched brow. I'm just going to put a bunch of layers of black mascara on to build it up so it looks cakey and messy, kind of like their wax would have been clumpy, cakey, black, and messy. And we'll put a couple layers of this, and we'll be right back. 
Now they use a lot of cream blushes or rouge. Very red and pinky in tone. So you can even use like a red lipstick and smear it on. I'm going to use Posy for MAC. It's one of my favorite pinks. And we're just going to dust it on the cheeks. Or rub it into the cheeks. For a very pinky glow. No real shading or contouring. We just kind of kind of give it color and then spread it back to the hairline. Now we're ready for the 20s mouth. They had very matte color for our lips. And there was a very fun Cupid's bow uh, mouth. I'll show you how to do very matte red color. So we're going to show you how to draw this right now. For the lips, I'm using Gash from Urban Decay. It's a dark, like a burgundy red color. And then I'm going to go over it with... This is Confession from MAC. It looks like a blackberry, but it's like a really dark blackish red, but it goes on kind of clear. And I kind of want this to look like a black and white photo from that time of their mouth. So to make it extra mattified, I'm going to take my red, I'm going to use this matte red, and a flat lip lining brush. I'm just going to pat the color down on top. If you mess up on liner like I did, just take a cream concealer and an angled brush and go right over. So the key to the lips is this little heart shape and then you want it to come down really round, not even going all the way out to the corners. So it gives you a little look like that. I'm going to take some powder on just a piece of like toilet paper wrapped in my finger and go along these edges of the lip liner where it's not colored and that'll make sure it won't bleed or fade off on you. There we go. Here is your 20's Flapper Girl makeup. I love this little bobbly wig. It's so cute. And ta-da! Here's our fun flapper look, complete with feather boa. Uh, you can go to my blog, candyj.com, and I'll have the link where you can get all these fabulous costume things I got. I hope you guys like this look and think it's fun. We'll see you in the next video. Don't forget, you can go to my blog and check out where I got everything, and there's links and all kinds of other stuff. So, have an awesome day! Bye! Yay! Here's our 20s vamp flapper, 20s vamp Flapper girl makeup. <laughs> I've even got fringe on my top. You can't see it, but see the fringy strings? You could even do it with red hair. This is actually a mullet wig I got at the costume shop, but I just pinned the back of the mullety hair up in the back. And you got a little 20s style hairdo. This is my mohawk hair. <laughs> What'd you find there, buddy? What you looking at? And it's as if I got a haircut. Just think how cool I'd be in the summertime if my hair was this short. <laughs> <laughs>